First, open the GitHub repository for T3S3 MVSR. Click on code to download the repository. There are two ways to download. One is to use Git, and the other is to download the compressed zip file directly. Here, we choose to download the compressed zip file directly. After the download is complete, you will receive a compressed zip file. Extracting the compressed file will provide you with the example code. Before downloading, the device needs to enter download mode. First, connect the device properly. Then press and hold the boot button. At this time, find the RST button, press it and release it. This will put the device into download mode. Open the extracted code file from the download. Right-click in the blank space, open the list, and click Open with VS Code. Open the platformio.ini file and find default underscore denvs. Uncomment default underscore nvs and keep only one line active. Open the original underscore test example. These are modifiable parameters such as Wi-Fi configuration. To test the audio playback function, place this file in the SD card. Before compiling, you can confirm whether you have selected the configuration correctly. Open private underscore library in the libraries folder. Open the pin underscore config file. These are configuration settings for different models of T3S3 MVSR. Since we are using the SX1262 version for demonstration, uncomment the SX1262 line and ensure only this one is applied. Click the symbol in the lower left corner to compile. Click the to upload the firmware. Open the repository you just downloaded. Find the path where the Arduino library project is stored. Copy the files from the code into the Arduino library folder at the following specific path. There are some parts that need modification. Click to open the pin underscore cont file in the private underscore library folder. You need to select the correct version according to the device. Save after selection. Find the original underscore test example in the example folder within the repository. Open original underscore test. These are some information that needs to be modified, such as Wi-Fi configuration. Click Tools to select device configuration. This is the configuration for the T3S3 MVSR. Click the To Compile. After a successful compilation, click Download. After successful download, you can see normal display here. When the countdown on the screen ends, if the boot button is not held down, it will enter this test. So we can enter the corresponding test by keeping it pressed. We will demonstrate each test one by one. First is the OLED test. 
which can check if the OLED can refresh and display normally. The second test is the vibration test. Press the boot button and you can feel the device vibrating. The third is the SD card test. The SD card is successfully detected here. The fourth is the RTC test. Here you can see that the time displayed on the OLED is continuously counting. The fifth is the microphone test. There is also continuous data fluctuation here which can be used for secondary development according to needs. The sixth test is Wi-Fi scanning and audio playback test from the SD card. Successfully scanned nearby available Wi-Fi and connected to the configured Wi-Fi. Press boot here to adjust the device volume. Here is playing the audio file named Music which is placed in the SD card. The seventh test is a call test between two devices. Take out the second device with the firmware downloaded. Keep pressing here to skip to the seventh test. Both devices enter the call test here. Press the boot button to switch between receiving and sending modes of the device. At this time, you can talk from the TX device to the RX device. The call function works within a distance of 800 meters, 